Stay off the damn coke, bro. Well, I was gonna nick you. I would, I would leave. I would leave league like. Nah, I would never wear an <laughs> old jersey, bro. That was literally a joke. Calm down, guys. He made the same. I watched the game. I was in the stadium. He made one more tackle than me and the same amount of runs as I did. <laughs> Zero. That charger that he wanted to get, apparently, bro. That charger. Yeah, that charger, because he got charger. Bro, yeah, he got right? charger. He got a drug charger, bro. He got Abu charger. Yeah. You, Wayne Bennett could have been on the field and it would have been, it probably would have, the Bruce <laughs> probably would have been better. Because that's what, that was his impact, talking. <laughs> well, I think. Honestly, I'm going to throw it out there. Dylan, if you ever have a charge or any type of legal troubles, Free of charge for the rest of his life, for except that. when you play against the Bulldogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maron, what are you doing? Hey, like, comment, subscribe, share, do everything you gotta do, man. It goes a long way, trust me. You like my shirt? Get straight into the episode. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my team's, uh, sorry, my team and Swiss team, the Canterbury Banks and Bulldogs. Pain. We lost this weekend. Pain. Season's over. Pain. All the all the stuff about the year of the four. Pain. Putting your house on the dogs. Pain. It was all a facade, bro. It was all a fugazi. It was all bull agony. But there's one thing. You know what? It was a good season, but I'm in Spain without the S. How f good was that game? How I don't care, bro. I wasn't even in neutral, bro. My team lost. And I was like, after the game, I'm like. Bro, what the hell just happened? That was like the best game I've ever watched in my life. Listen, first and foremost, um, thank you all for watching, supporting, sending messages. Um, I'm currently banned. Ajiba's couch page is currently banned on Instagram for arguing with this racist guy. Whatever, whatever. You know, it is what it is. Waiting for Instagram to get back to us. So that's probably why you're not getting any uh, reports on the page, on our stories, on our posts, yada, yada, yada. Hopefully that gets resolved very, very quickly. Um, yeah, man, I mean, a lot of, uh, it was a little bit, it hurt a lot to, to see us go out like that. But I've got a message before we get into anything and everything. Uh, first of all, we're sponsored by Chad, so shout out to Chad. We absolutely love the, the team down there, giving us the tomb for your chest. Now, I've got a message for the Bulldogs fans of the 2024 season. I remember speaking to Presto. Was it, well, it, was, it was in the off-season where we spoke to Jacob Preston. He drove all the way down from DY to Heckenberg. He sat at that couch in the backyard where all the boys hang out, make good memories. Um, he sat there and he told me, the next season won't be like this season, right? And because Preston said it, like, it's probably something you think any NRL player should bro, say. I thought, that was, I thought that was the PR answer, yeah, bro. Yeah, you I know thought, what I mean? we all thought that was, you know, media training, PR, yada, yada. But he wasn't wrong, bro. He, this season was incredible for me. I haven't been to, I haven't supported, not supported, I've always supported, but I haven't attended games like this, this consistently in a very, very long time. Um, when your team is losing, it is very hard to go out there and support, yada, yada. Um, I did attend 66 nil. I did attend a lot of different losses last year, but this year I attended a lot of different games. The Bulldogs brought me so much joy. They brought me so much happiness. To me, my friends, my family, um, everyone I know has turned into a big Bulldogs fan, which is what we love. There's so many kids out there that it's their first time ever going to a game this year. It's first time supporting a team. It's the first time actually falling in love with the sport because they grew up in it or they, you know, they were taught to follow the Bulldogs and now they have these memories to hang on to. Um, for all the negativity that the Bulldogs team is receiving from their own, our own fans. Uh, I just want you to understand that something called being grateful. You've got to be grateful. Uh, me and Fred said this, if we get knocked out round one, we are not upset one bit because we're true fans and we've seen the club from where it was to where it is. We've defended Gus Gould. Uh, Fred, I'm, I'm going to stay out of this one, but Fred's defended Seraldo so many times and I was against it. A lot of our players have been scrutinized. Is Burden a six? Is he not a six? Is a center? But he's overrated. I oh, don't give him the money. Ben Hunt's better. Ben Hunt's better. Rabalo all this, was better. All this, all this cap, all this rubbish. I just want you Bulldogs fans. Forget Rival fans. Rival fans are going to speak as much as they can. Um, if you're not Penrith or Melbourne, you've got no right to talk. But just a lot of fans are going to say, oh, I'm grateful. Just listen, be grateful. Appreciate what's happening. And if you understand sports and anything about sports, it's not about the quick trophy. And the trophy is beautiful. I know. I know, how, I know that feeling is probably the best feeling ever. But it's not just about that, man. It's about building a culture. It's about building a team. It's about getting the fans back on board. Not these bandwagon fans. I'm telling the real fans. The kids that are going to support for the next 5, 10, 20, 30 years, they're going to pass it on to their kids. Be grateful for everything that we've, we've been able to see. Um, just, yeah, I'm very, very happy, very, very blessed to actually watch the Bulldogs this year, support them, be a big fan of theirs. 
And uh, they gave me so much happiness, bro. So be grateful. I'm proud of the boys. I told Max King and Blake Wilson how proud of them I am. Even before, when I was, uh, they FaceTimed me, I said this story a hundred times. But I'm so proud, bro. Like, whatever happens, wallah, trust me. It's just, we just wanted effort. And look where we are. We finished fifth. We freaking played finals. We got to watch our finals game at home, bro. You were there yesterday. I was there yesterday. In that crowd, is unbelievable. Like, it's, it's different gravy. And for everyone mocking us, where are you at? Bill Mori, yara, yara, yara. Trust me, bro. When we win a grand final, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, and it's going to probably happen within the next three to five years. When we win a grand final, you all better. You better wish we didn't, bro. Because I'm probably going to come to your house with the tabba at 30 something years old, drumming my heart out. Because 40 something. 40 something. 40 something. The bitterness, he's, nearly, he's 30 something now. <laughs> the bitterness, the pettiness is going to be unbelievable. Yeah, bro, take it away. I, I ain't, uh, listen, man, I, I caught some messages, bro. <laughs> some, some funny. So I'm very, very hateful, but I always take it like a champion, you know? And, but a lot of messages of support from the Dogs fans saying that I was, like, I got a few saying that I was, you know, a really good, like, representation of the club and that definitely, like, you know, as a, as a fan, like, that means a lot to me. So it was a really good year, man. And a lot of people that are upset about this season, I, I, I know it hurts to lose. To, to lose like that, you know, as somebody that, Thought we were going to lose all week and up until the game, I still thought we were going to lose. The fact that we played so well and that, in my opinion, we were, the act we were the better team for most of the game, that's why it stings so much, bro. Because nine times out of ten, we probably end up winning that game. If something doesn't happen mid-week, uh, mid you know, and we have another player available... Which we'll all speak about in we, depth with a lawyer. We, right? we, be, be here and... We've got Saul Goodman coming, bro. <laughs> Shout right. out to Saul Goodman. But as I was saying, if we had a certain somebody at the game playing, we win that game. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it just wasn't our day, bro. Yeah. So many things that should have gone right, didn't. And we fell short, like this short. As somebody that was sitting behind the goalpost, seeing Matt Burden's kick Twice. Hit, the, hit, the, hit the try line... Under the post, broke me. I thought that was going in, bro. Oh, I'm like, my, and I'm like, and I know for sure everything went wrong, and it all started when I forgot my headgear at home. Yeah. All right. And if I brought the headgear for the game, if I brought the headgear to the game, bro, Matt Burden, it would have given Matt Burden two extra meters. Yeah, it would have had like some sort of the, like connection. The the, the ball would have like magnetically like tele, uh, te, tele like telekinesis, telekinesis, bro, <laughs> to my headgear. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't it, man. It just wasn't it. Uh, and that's that? all right. And I can live with it. Because guess what? It's a good learning experience for all the boys. They just versed a super experienced, super solid NRL team led by guys that have been in the finals plenty of times before. All right, gotten very close to winning comps. Some of them have won comps and led their team to comps. They took them all the way to the end. All uh, the way. Listen, and it's a great learning experience for all of them. They're all going to remember this feeling of losing I right. told everyone, bro, next to me, I said, you know this feeling? And I'm with a lot of people that haven't really experienced the victories of the grand finals. I said, you know this feeling? Breathe it in, lad. Drink it. Up. If you can inject it in your veins, inject it in your veins. Because I swear, when, it, when you do win, like when you lost to Melbourne, was it Melbourne? Yeah. And it was like, oh, far out. Such a good team. He's got the best players, whatever. Like, even though it's still coming up. And then you finally win. And then it's just like, bro, what the actual, like it's the best feeling in the world. And I said this to, to someone very, very dear to me. They're like, why aren't you that upset? Right? And I said to him, this is what Premier League football does for you. Trust me, when I watch Liverpool lose <laughs> titles on the last day in Champions League at 4 a.m., when you watch a team lose at 4 a.m., bro, it's a, different, it's a different sort of pain. By this much. By this much. By literally. By literally like, a league by this by much. By this much. So, like, the Bulldogs you just can never hurt me any more than what Liverpool hurt me. So, yeah, I've got this uh, guard up and I'm, I'm pretty good. But listen, let's talk about the loss. Um, let's talk about the game as a I, I just want to, yeah, I, I want to, look, I just want to say one more thing. All right. People ask me why I'm not upset. It's because I can see that we're building something. This isn't like a... This isn't like... People say, what if they chuck a Warriors? You know what I mean? And I don't see the Warrior thing that the, what happens to the Warriors happening to... I don't think it will happen to us because at the end of the day, like they were very, a very old and an aging team. They had a lot of players in their prime or about to exit their prime. And it just... It was like... Oh, it was like a win now moment for them. Like if they didn't get it done Bro, this year or the year with, after. Who, Manly? Who, are you talking about Manly? Or no, no, what? Warriors. Oh, that okay, at yeah, the yeah. time didn't get it done. Didn't get it done, you know, the, like the, last year or this year. 
That's the window closed, whereas our window hasn't even opened yet, bro. Even and I like, think we're ahead of schedule. Even Manly's team, bro, to have Jake, Tom, DCE, even Luke Brooks, I know it's his first finals, but to have all those players, bro, they're not young. They're not young, bro. They're, they're at that age where they should have won something now. They're seasoned, They should have did something, yeah. And, like, obviously, this is, this is one uh, before, yeah? He's yeah. won the premiership yeah. before. So, yeah. he's coming to the end of it. But the pressure's on them for, for them to win. And, listen, they did. And the end of the day, bro, experience is what killed us, bro. Like, even Bronson Jerry getting the ball and knocking it on, like, just to have that sort of stress, anxiety, trying to get out of your end and trying to create something, that's what... That, what bro, like, when Cleary was down, when Penrith were down by three tries or whatever it was, Everyone was so calm, Cleary, Crichton. Everyone was like, yeah, relax. We're going to get our moment. There's eight minutes or nine minutes, whatever it was. I think when we had like that five, six minutes, everyone was like, let's do something. They were gone. They, they were, were gone. gone. The heads were gone. And I, I get it. I see it. I've seen it coming. It's not like something that's crazy to me. Like to lose against that Manly team, it's just experience, bro. And yeah. to just to contain that pack, to contain Tommy. I told you this last week. Wallah, I'm not scared of Tommy. And I'm not, that's not me being disrespectful to Tommy. I love Tommy. But I'm scared of that. I'm scared of that bloke with, with the number seven on his back for Manly, bro, because he was the game changer, bro. He's just, he's captain, everything, like everything about him, bro. He's captain challenges, just his IQ is just there and his experience was there to run that ball on last and to make that pass and spread the ball and in their the in desperation time and, and pay it off, bro. That I try, can't believe that try was so good. I couldn't even be mad. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> bro, if that's like, how we lose, I can live with it because that shit was something special, bro. It was painful. It should have never happened. Never. Never, never, never. I, I don't know how Salmon... Crichton's defending Salmon, in the Salmon, middle of the field. Salmon's, okay. Salmon's 40 minutes on the bench, bro. He comes on and he's fresh and he misses that tackle. And then Gerald Scotton, as much as I love him, he was just holding his dick in his hand. Yeah, he's ready for know, the Tigers. Wait, he's ready waiting, for the Tigers. He was waiting and waiting for Cola and waiting for Cola and wait, And then, uh, what do you know? Go with one shoe scored, bro. <laughs> when I was at your age, I only had one shoe. Yeah, it's painful, bro. But you know what? I'm going for, look, I'm putting my hand up. I'm going for Manly rest of the year. No, right? bro, what? Because, bro, I, really? I don't have no problem really? with Manly, cuz. And I want Turbo to win, bro. By the way, you know you're what? You're telling me you don't want Turbo and Jerbo to win a comp? I you're telling me they don't deserve one, bro? I couldn't care less about them, to be honest, Walla. I really don't care. Like, that's the only to be honest with you. I yeah, love no. Turbo well, and I, I love Jake. Oh, that's why Jake's I, a nice guy. Walla, I'm going for him, I bro. don't give a. Go, Manly. Okay, listen. But. Um, just one more thing, Walla, before we actually get into Araka, we've got Mr. Habbo here who's going to give us all the deets and that, all the little greedy, greedy thing. Look at him, bro. He's, 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 wait till you see this guy. He's speaked up, Marco. He listened. Saul Goodman, bro. <laughs> listen, um, Dean Ritchie um, and everyone else. I was at the game. A lot of Manly fans were there. A lot of good banter, bro, straight out. But a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, Said, and this is not for mainly fans. We have Hello Sports, they are good friends. Well, I, I didn't encounter one yeah, bad thing, but I, you're gone. I did, right? I did. And and whatever, it, it is what it is. But Dean Ritchie, right? You're you're on Fox League, whatever, talking about Bulldogs fans being uh, uh telling Braith and Asta, like, have you seen him? Like, have you sat with him? Whatever. And Braith and Asta straight away, bro, guard up and he's like, Bro, you don't trust me, don't attend the game, or like, don't even be there because you're gonna get heckled. I can't believe in 2024, a fan base that's passionate about celebrating their team's victories after being where they were last year. Is something disgusting. But that's how that Dean, whatever his name is, Dean Bulldog Richie. Is he even a Bulldog supporter? Like, I don't even know why his name is that. Anyway, I can't believe... He looks like a Bulldog. He looks like, he looks like a Zabar. Anyway, the point is, I can't believe in 2024, we're still looking at the Bulldogs fans like that. When there's... And you know, BKR Sports uh, asked me about this the other day. He goes, do you still look at the Bulldogs fans as a Lebanese dominant community? And I said, when you think of the Bulldogs, you think of Lebos, right? But there are so many Greeks, so many Italians, so many... Everything. It's multicultural. Like, it's a club that loves everyone. And you can say with our multicultural day, bro, the Aboriginals, uh, Islanders, everyone just getting together. So I can't believe this disgusting piece of shit has, to, has the balls to go on live news and just, or whatever it was, and just be like, yeah, we've seen the fans be intimidating, yada, yada, yada. I don't know what it is, because when we celebrate, everyone wants to make a scene out of it. Bro, I don't I, understand, bro. I had people uh, saying, uh, brother, you know what? Let, let, let's just look at all you toothless junkies just drinking alcohol at games and just... Chugging beers. Bro, I had someone, I had someone's, my mate, his wife, be get chugged at him. Like, like, think about that shit. So like, I don't know. Uh, uh, would you rather that? Would you rather that? I don't really know. So yeah, I just had to speak on it because a lot of people told me to touch on it. And uh, there you go, boys. You know how hard it is to make Sui crash out, bro? Nah, bro. I've never, heard, bro, him, I've never heard him raise his voice, you know bro. What? I've known him for two years. I've never <laughs> heard him raise his voice. No, because bro, like, I watched the Bulldogs and I watched what we went through all our years as, as a Lebo, right? And I'm not make, trying to make this about race, whatever, but that's what it is. And like it's 2024, you can't be uh, happy about someone celebrating passionately. Wallah, it makes no sense to me. Um, good luck ever entering any of those areas. I feel very, very uh, worried for you. And that's the last thing I've got to say on it.
Flex well, week. That, that's well, sort of proving him <laughs> right then, bro. I'm not no, 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 because all right, you want you want the point, brother. Here's the point. Come but, past, hang out. Because I had people messaging me, karma, like like I did, like, <laughs> like we did something wrong, bro. Jump in, Abba, jump in. Um, we're gonna speak about the uh, Fox situation, the Atacama yeah, situation. Yeah, get out of here, Flax. In, it, sort of in general, we'll get you back when we're speaking about Penrith. First and foremost. Shout out to Habba. Look at him, bro. Give, him, give him a little small. Let AI pick up on you a little bit, bro. I look like a four foot nothing lever, man. Look at me, man. <laughs> that next year I get cozy. Uh, first and foremost, Habba, it's nice to have you on. Uh, I've known you for a long time. We've been pleasure. through a lot of things together. We've seen a lot of things together. And um, now you're smashing it in the law world. I'm proud of you. I man. love that little, little thing you got there. The little badge you got the uh, Aboriginal Palestine and the Palestine flag. Yeah, shout, out to the, shout out to the originals. Um, yeah, tell us a bit about yourself, bro. Tell me a bit, little bit. A little, little bit about yourself. See, I'm already bucking. Yeah. It's already bucking. You gotta get so used to this, bro. brother. You're gonna have to do content. Wait, wait, give me a mallet so he thinks <laughs> I'm a judge. It's so nerve wracking. I can talk in front of a judge and I can't talk in front of you too, bro. But can I just say, I don't watch the NRO anymore because I just go into your TikToks. Yeah. I just sit there and I'm just, I'm just going to TikTok, bro. Just, just. Just swipe through. This guy's giving some live action. He's got all the highlights. Oh, I've got, got everybody covered. Hey, but you can't open it when we're around family because that's fine. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I know. You know my, no. my, my wife now knows, but if, if someone's throwing a tick, that's hectic for him, bro. Right, <laughs> some little, some, or I went <laughs> last night after the game. I had this big stick. Yeah. So I was, I was like, that was I, a cold I, photo, I, was like, by the way. I was like a beacon, yeah? <laughs> all these people, all these Manly fans especially started coming up to me and saying how much they love me. Some, this little lady, man, she's, she would have been at least in her like 50s or 60s, comes up to me with her son and everything. And, and she's saying, like how much she loves me and how much they watch me yeah and she says never stop swearing because that's what we love about you <laughs> my mom my auntie because i said she says you're so funny and i'm like yeah, you're if, genuine, you, can get, you're if you can get past the swearing yeah i am pretty funny and my, and she goes never stop I my mom and aunties and uncles have been telling me to stop swearing for years <laughs> yeah but even but they don't get it because like, i can't play the podcast anymore because you just swear I'm like, him, they, they don't you. get it it's the hard, swearing bro. is raw and that's what people like man real authenticity it's man. hard you're authentic that's like, and that's that's the way that it's Hey, look, look at me, man. I mean, outside of court, you know, I'm speaking to a client. I'm trying, I'm trying to cut it down. Bro. Yeah, no, yeah, you have to, bro. We all have to, bro. You get comfortable, and then, but I can switch it off like that. Yeah. All right, but I, I can't, I'll try my best, bro. But like, a lot of people tell me, bro, stop swearing. I'm like, bro, I can't it's just eat me. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. We can try, right? Do you remember us? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, this guy has to edit all those swear words out so we get. Just paid give me a beep button, bro. <laughs> bro, if you saw us 15 years ago. At least we weren't that bad. We were good people. We just, that was our... That was our when Sui was spoke. 29 years old, yeah. 15 years ago. You guys are hot bro. Anyway, listen, um, Habba, it's nice to have you on, my brother. Um, let's talk about the Fox situation, right? Because midweek or last... I don't know when it was. His test came back as positive. A lot of Bulldogs fans were shattered. Um, he agreed to pay the fine, which was... I'll let you get into all the details. But, bro, for me, without knowing... Like, just seeing what I've seen... Like, let the team down. And I love Araka, big supporter of his... And everything he, he does, I support him with whatever he does, but just this is not a good look for the club. It's not a good look for himself. And bro, I'm a nobody, but he already knows all this. I don't, we don't have to say it. But to do that a week away from the finals or whenever it was, is just wrong, especially after seeing Troll Meet do the same thing, right? Um, but yeah, man, I'll, just, I'll let you take it away. I'll let you speak about what's happened and, and go for it. I mean, he's what's upsetting, right? Because as a bloke, he's the nicest bloke possible. He is. He is. He's a champion of a bloke. Hooper said it. He's like, Hoops is like, man, like, everyone, like, how can you not love Fox? Oh, yeah, you can't, like, you can't not love him. It's very hard not him. to. He's a but, ball of energy, man. But here's the misconception, right? It's, everyone's thinking, uh, what kind of happened at that night or the night before? What everyone doesn't understand, man, is you don't just get tested for positive if you've done whatever the illicit substance is 24 hours prior. It stays in your system for a good while. And so, for example, I've had clients where three weeks ago they, they had a night out. They drive the next day, the following day, the week after, everything's all good. Three weeks later, they go MDT, RBT, they get pulled over by the police. This comes back as positive. It doesn't, yeah. So. No, man, it, it comes back as positive. And they're sitting there, they're questioning, they're calling me. It's like, bro, you came back as positive. I haven't done anything. Like, you can't say you, don't, yeah, you haven't, haven't done anything. Like, <laughs> something's there. What, what's going on? Whether it's the most minute of substances that's inside of you, whether it's just a milligram, whatever it is, it stays into your system. And I was like, all right, recall the events. What's happened in the last month? It's like, what do you mean in the last month? Like, what happened in the last month? Have you partied in the last couple of weeks? Yeah, but ages ago. It stays in your system. Now, everyone's body type is a little bit different, but if it comes back as positive and they then send that out to the lab, they do two tests, get pulled over, they do an MDT, they do the swab, 
It comes back as positive. Might come back as negative. They'll do a second test. That, that sample that they end up taking goes back to the lab. And it won't, the result won't, won't come back until a couple of months later. If that result comes back as the smallest, just the smallest of substance that's in you, you're positive. It doesn't matter how much you've taken. The, I've literally had clients where they've had a, a dip of yeah, the can, substance. Can yeah, yeah, of they've course. had a dip of the substance into a cigarette and they've smoked that cigarette. Their excuse is, oh, I just, it numbs it, makes the cigarette taste a little bit better. It doesn't matter. It's, it's in your substance. It's, it's, in, your, so yeah, it's, in, it's in your system. It's in your system. And when the charge would have been drive with illicit substance, right? Now, I'm not sure if he's been given a court attendance notice or if, or if he was given a fine. If it's your first offense, you get given a fine, you just pay the fine, but it's, it's on your record. It's a conviction. Mm. And he, now, here's the thing. Here's, here's the defense talk, right? Let's say you're given... This is lawyer mode's creeping yeah, in. I love this shit. Let, let's, say, <laughs> let's say you were given the test. That test drops, falls onto the car seat, falls onto the seat. It touches something Anything. other than, other than the actual sample itself. Then you could sort of make an argument that it was tampered. Most officers will pick up on it and they'll give you a second test. And then let's say it drops again, but you can make an argument that it's been tampered. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen the facts. I don't know what the facts are. Um, I don't know the details. About I don't think it. We, uh, anyone can get to know them. <laughs> right I'm now. pretty sure his, his lawyer would be down. But if there's a way around it, his lawyer will find that out. But with a, a situation like that, it's a sh so it's either were you driving, were you behind the wheel of a car, of a vehicle, is it in your system? Nothing else matters. Yeah. Well, and then if the argument can be made, was it self-induced? Someone. That's the thing. But it's in your prove, system. It's in yeah, your system. To prove that it it wasn't you that took it. Whether it be the, the day prior, or two days prior, or three weeks before, just uh, the, the just the, the fact that it's been taken in a season where coming off last season, bro, well, like everything was wrong with us, everything you can think of. But we still have a court case right now of a player trying to sue us for all this money that he wants, he thinks he's obliged to. And then like after all that, and like being a leader, and like bro, I love Fox, like I love him, bro. Like I've met him multiple times, nicest guy. Follows us, supported us, has even shared our things once to, to help us boost. But, like, like, for me, like, I get it, man. People take these things all the time. Like, it's very, very normal. And I, so I, common. I say, so and common. I hate to say this, Walla, I hate the substance. I hate when it's, I hate being around. I hate everything about it, right? It's just not us. We don't represent it at all. But it's, let's be real, 2024, this is the world we live in, bro. It's yeah. become a very normal thing to do and take. And uh, a lot of people are surprised by players and our role players taking it. Bro, it's so common. You want me to drop a heavy? Do you know how many people, high rise people, are on it? Do you understand of how course. many? Of course. Fred said he's like, the, 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 he goes, the judiciary is probably on it. Like, yeah. like, right. Whether, without a doubt, are, I can tell you for a fact. <laughs> no, no, statistically, per capita, we are the biggest Coke users yeah. in the yeah, entirety of the world. What does that explain? So, Tony you? Montana statistically would, would want to move here <laughs> to have the highest amount of Coke intake. Right, and it's not slowing down anytime soon. No. Everywhere, every, Because every there's no real, uh, I'll be honest, like, f there's not that many negatives that come from it. Like, it's like marijuana at the end of the day. I'm not a user of anything. I don't even smoke a cigarette. This guy smokes two packs a day. Well, relax, so I'm more, of a, I'm more pure than this man, right? But at the end of the day, like, there aren't that many negatives to it besides the fact that it costs too much money. And then, and then like, you know, other little implications. Nah, there's like, a lot of, lot of negatives to it, bro. Like, any then, kids watching this, voila, like, if I could give any kid advice, like, any kid, right? I'll tell him don't smoke cigarettes. No. Fuck away yeah, I'll tell you, don't smoke cigarettes because it's a habit that you very hard to break later on. I, I bought this guy a pack, bro. Yeah, sixty bucks, man. Yeah. Sixty <laughs> bucks. This was like man. desperation times, bro. Like, like sixty dollars, like dollars, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right. We used to put change together. Anyway, listen, this is a message yeah. for the kids, bro. Yeah, don't touch anything like that. But there's one thing: if if you have a friend touching this substance, right, the white stuff, the thing, just bro, wallah, try to avoid that. Try to keep them away from it because it destroys lives more than you can ever imagine. Like, and. You're going to grow up and you're going to see your friends. It's so normal that I, have to, I hate to even speak about this. You're going to grow up. You're going to see your friends take this stuff. Yada, yada, yada. You think it's just like, you're going to think of them as a bad person. Then the third person, fourth person takes it. It becomes normal. You're like, yeah, he does it. But I swear, if you look at their life from when they start to another five years later, 10 years later, if they're still on it, it's just a downhill thing, bro. So you can avoid it. Avoid it. Um, and just don't be shocked by hearing NRL players taking it. We had Trindle. We had Latrell Mitchell. Cameron Munster. Brandon Smith. Show me. What's that? What's right now, cuz? The NRL Integrity Unit has requested a meeting with Bulldogs winger Josh Adokar. Um, yeah, I, 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 I think quote, it's done, bro. You, you, you know how small, how quickly you can get 
put up in this type of stuff. You know, all he needed to do is, let's say he had a mate that was doing it, he grabbed it off his mate, and he just threw it away from out of the vehicle. Just threw it away. But a little bit of residue came onto his, his finger, and he put it onto his mouth. That's it, huh? It's in your system. It's in your system. No one understands just how easy it is to get this shit mixed up into your system. It's, it's so, so sad, bro. It's so fucking easy, man. It's, sorry for this way. That's all right. But it's... it's Flexy. It, it's, <laughs> 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 Sorry, bro. Tom, 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 like, how am I going to pump this lawyer? Pay, bro. You'll pay off zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you thought a lawyer's coming He's going to be all professional. <laughs> nah, <laughs> bro. <laughs> but, <laughs> hey, listen, man. <laughs> the simplest way to put it is to quote Grandmaster Flash, it's hard as hell to fight it. Don't buy it. It's right? facts, bro. White lines blow away, bro. What's a, how much is it now? Those was like 350 bucks. I don't, bucks. Know. I don't, I don't even want to promote oh, it. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I'll ask, my, I'll, ask my, I'll ask one of my cousins, bro. <laughs> nah, but listen, man. Uh, we've, we've, let's speak about Arakai, like, uh, Freddie, before we get into all the final well, stuff. Um, what do you think happens now? He's not going to... He's... Well, he's... I, I said... I made a video on TikTok, yeah? I said what I wanted. And honestly, after what happened this weekend, what I've wanted might have changed because I'm very disappointed in him. And I'm so annoyed that we lost that game because he wasn't there. So, so you now think I'm he like, plays that game? It's completely if different. If he plays that game, we 100% win. He does not drop that ball that Skelton does, and he probably stops one or two, maybe even both of the tries that Skelton let in. And he's a better defender than Skelton. So to say that he probably would have let another one in, I disagree. Yeah, but that's true. I see where you come from. But, I, get but I was okay with it because I love him so much. But the more I think about it, and the more I feel like these boys around him feel like he's, they've been dogged, because for some reason, I just feel like we have a lot of good guys in this team that are probably not doing that stuff. So they, they probably feel let down right now by him not being there. And I don't think they're going to want him there. And I think he's the respect. Really? Like, I, really? I think, I think the respect that the other boys once had for him is now probably gone. If it wasn't gone already, like, uh, he might have been doing this the whole time. I don't know. Yeah. But. And we don't but, know if he took but it. Like, what like, I, like we don't, like but at the end of the day, I don't know. They know. The yeah. teammates for sure know. Let, let me put a scenario. For you. If they were to test every single NRL player. The, there would be no NRL. <laughs> <laughs> oh, without a doubt. There would be no NRL. We'd be watching NRLW. If they, <laughs> no, 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 NRL, NRLW would be gone too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like this, then let's be real. I'm going to say it right here. If we tested every single player, mid, like if we tested every single player once mid season, once off season, oh, yeah, it's done, it's done. there would be no sport in the world, bro. No, no, and no. saying well, they well. have, there would be no sport in the world because at the end of the day, when you make, and we don't even make a lot here in Australia, right? You go anywhere in the world, bro. They're making millions of dollars to play a sport. John Wall on they the bench. They don't nothing. know what. To, they don't know what to do with it, bro. And so it's, like, it's, a, it's a thing of popularity too to take these things. But they want to be know, cool. There's not many players like Dejounte Murray, bro. Yeah. Knowing what you know, would you still let him go? I I I wouldn't. But the fact that he did it one week before finals, assuming that let's say I'm gonna assume let's that he did take facts, it, yeah. and I'm not li I'm not buying into his his um I didn't do it. You know what yeah. I mean? He's not Bart Simpson or what is it? <laughs> I didn't do it. Yeah, I think no, no, I don't know. Yeah, I think well, it was Bart Simpson. <laughs> but assuming that I believe he's guilty, Shaggy, wasn't the fact that he <laughs> one week before finals, yeah, I had bro, it, or at least close to the finals. Yeah, yeah. if he did it in the off season, I wouldn't care. I actually wouldn't yeah, care. Yeah, that's what but I... That one week... Like, if we did a Reese Walsh, I wouldn't care. But two, three weeks before finals, bro, I can't. I can't hack it. And I don't think... And I know exactly what Gus Gould and Cameron Serraldo are saying, and it's that exact same thing, and he will not play another game for this club. He will not play Isn't another game so for the Bulldogs. Bro. So he sad. makes Isn't 600 so grand, and there's... And you, the lawyer, would surely know about contracts. There's surely some sort of clause in that it, contract it, that says you cannot get caught doing X, Y, or Z. 100%. It, it would have right. some type of professionalism. Yeah. Some, some clause in there where he has to abide by the rules. And Brother, regulations of the club. Stephen A. Smith once said, stay off the, the damn weed. 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 <laughs> we have the coca. All right. <laughs> Do it to the camera. Stay off the damn coke, <laughs> brah. <laughs> Right. There's our intro. And Stephen, <laughs> Stephen A. Smith. I got you. I got you. Uh, Stephen, <laughs> Stephen A. Smith. No, I have to do it more. Like, stay off the damn coke, brah. <laughs> All right, because that's how Stephen A. Smith does it. He puts every little bit in it because you every are. Every time he yells, you are making, goes back, you are huh? making millions of dollars. <laughs> All, you do, <laughs> All you have to do is stay off the damn weed. <laughs> we have the coke, bruh. Stop taking coke, man. 
Do it in the off season. Yes. Don't drive after you take it for three weeks. It stays in your system. Fucking that charger that he wanted to get, apparently, bro. That charger. Yeah, that charger, because he got charger. Bro, yeah, he, got right? charger. he got a drug charger, bro. He got Abu charger. At yeah. least get away with it, bro. bro at, least at least take it. If he's hooking Uber, he plays this week, we win. And That's then you can I have think. more substance later. If yeah, he's gonna <laughs> now. <laughs> and then, first Ben Barber, now this guy, bro. Yeah. You know Ben. Everyone was I love. Boss, man. Ben Barber was. What, say Ben Barber is a sad story, because where he ended up, bro. Like, like, why? Where? Just why, man? The amount of potential that you could have. And it's actually sad. Walla Ben Barber was a freak of nature. He was family, man. We well, classified him as, as family. Yeah, like, man. He walked through Gomo head up. No Walla, I don't have many posters of people in my wall cards, but he was one of them. You know what I mean? And. Yeah, it hurts yeah. more that Arakai, like, we support him, we love him, and he, like, he watches... Bro, that's Lola, my guy, man! Yeah, that's my bro, that's what hurts. But, bro, we got to... My Pookie Ben, Matt Burnham, would never, man. That's why he's my Pookie <laughs> Ben, bro. Let me, let me ask you something. Just, just a very quick one, right, while we're on, the, on, on this topic. If he was to go to court, give his circumstances, his personal circumstances, circumstances, subjective material, all of that, court grants him no conviction. Let's say there's like, some significant circumstances that revolved around why and how he took it. He's given no conviction. He's still taken it. He accepts that he's taken the substance. Do we still let him go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. As soon as have, that, if uh, you if, record or not, if you matter. heard the way that Gus Gould spoke about the Trill Mitchell, yeah, yeah, yeah he absolutely See, he, that, he is not keeping this guy around. And I don't, and if you so Raldo, out of maybe if you take away take away Craig Bellamy, the coach, the ne- the way that people describe him and the players describe him and Gus describes him. The coach that gets the ick the quickest is Cameron Serralda. <laughs> he will literally, <laughs> he a, will, he, a, he is like, it's a, you as a player to him, or like, it's like the relationship, like a long distance relationship between like, you know, just to get citizenship. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. It feels like that. They will bin you so quickly if you do something wrong. And it's actually sad, you know what I mean? Because Gus, Gus is going you, to stand, stand on business, bro. And I right, Gus gonna, is standing on business, man. And listen, last question on Fox. Where do you think he goes? Souths or para? I think he goes to Souths, Walla. So I definitely the rehab South's center, taken? bro. The rehab center. <laughs> no, that, that, if Souths take him, that's fine. After what they've been through, that, no, that's no. But it that's just, it, but yeah, brother, it makes, it makes so much makes sense. sense. He would literally get a second if he's gonna reach. If he's gonna research, like have a resurgence anywhere, he would, bro. It's everyone like. I, I lived in Redfern. I grew up in Redfern. Uh, my grandparents still live there. I go there all the time, bro. It would mean so much to him and the community 100%. for him to play there, bro. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Uh, he would be treated this. like I that's the so only pla- does, that's man. the only place better than Para, bro. That's the only place better anywhere. Than para. Nah. That's the only fan base anywhere that will treat him better than us. Yeah, because they will be so thankful. And plus, they need a winger. It makes so much sense. They'll take him in. I think they'll probably go. I think he'll probably go to Parramatta, maybe even back to the Tigers because they were in the market for Montoya. I don't know why they have enough wingers, but now they want another winger. So no Super League, no Super League. Absolutely not, bro. He'd be like, bro. He'd be like Usain Bolt was the sprinting in the Super League, bro. <laughs> he'll just clock everyone. Eh? Literally, he'll nick everyone, bro. Win he'll win. He'll score thirty tries a year. All right, Freddie. Uh, painful question, and happy you can chime in on this if you want. Chard, try of the week. Only, I got one. There's only one try, bro. I, I know, I got the one. one that made us lose, bro. I, I got one before you even go that. Just the Ponga assist that sort of flicks. The step, drop nuts. The, just going through that flick that to, I don't know who it was, bro. What a try. Kalen Ponga, we're going to speak about the Newcastle game. Oh. He had an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal I game. I think you're talking about the flick to Kyle Felt or the flick to Gang Gay Guy. That was a nice one too. Even the Sharks, the Trindle pass No, the, the nice. flick to Kyle Felt was the other team, bro. How's it a nice one? Oh, no, no. I thought you were talking about um, Trindle's <laughs> flick to, uh, I don't know who scored it for, for the Sharks. That was a nice That was a nice Oh, yes, right. Uh, Nikola, bro. Yeah, but listen, the only one that matters is the one that hurt us the most. Oh, I love what Dylan a tr- Edwards scored that try. Oh, which, my Dylan goodness, Edwards, bro. Scored that try. Oh. Dylan Edwards <laughs> is an underappreciated tank. Yeah, He's so mad right tank. now. He wants to be right there. Oh. <laughs> you just stole his I'm going to swap positions, bro, because I, I need to hear you rant about this. Dude, <laughs> but he when nearly he scored run, well, I was a worldie. for him. If he scored that. Who, ta- who, who got him? Um, he beat five. Bro, sorry, yeah, but I have to put it in like that because it, it, I was literally watching him like, no way, teddy, no bro. way. Come get onto this team. Uh, someone got it, but I was like, no way. way, no way. Look at him, no way. What the? F-? Yes way, he could have scored. Bro, <laughs> that would have been one of the best finals tries. That would have been like GI's try, bro, against the Broncos. I, I call it try of the year. I would have actually called it. That would have that would have been the one thing that I would have I couldn't I wouldn't have believed my eyes. I would have been better than the Coats one. 
Yeah, that, that would have been better than the Coates one to win because this one's in finals, bro. And he's, he's doing all. He's going Dylan for Edwards. He's all doing it on one leg too. This man has a PCL injury. Nah, he's man. Honestly, I'm gonna throw it out there, Dylan. If you ever have a charge or any type of legal troubles. Free of charge for the rest of his life, except that. when you play against the Bulldogs. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that offer's going to end on the next no, year. Like, he, he starts coming to me for everything. Well, no, no, he's fine, bro. He's fine. He's, he's fine. fine. Oh, he's good fine. He's an angel bloke. But listen, him. I'll take him. The try of the year was Cola, right? Uh, not try the year. Try, try, try the week was yeah, Cola's try. Listen, bro, to be as experienced, as smart as DC, to not kick on last in a game where you need, in a time where you need to score points, to give it to Tommy and then everyone just passed and passed and passed and for Kola to just sprint through everyone. Uh, Skelton and I don't know, they could have just Salmon, better, yeah. You got to give him his credit where credit's due. What a player. Uh, that, Walla Walla, that, Phenomenal. Was, that was a try so good. I watched it and I was in awe. Like I didn't know what I'd just seen. And I was like, literally, I had to record. I didn't record a video for no many tries, cuz. But that <laughs> one I had to do, cuz. Because yeah. I was like, even right. DC's they sort do. of they just a nicked the whole. Let's just move on. Let's move on. The, 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 he just nicked the whole team, bro. You talking about that when he left the scrum early? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Eh? But in my opinion, bro, he still scores even if he doesn't leave early. Yeah, I know. Listen, I'm just upset that it's black and white, and when it comes to us, I know, I know, I know, and I think I do think. Look. That I think Matt Burton was taken off the ball two times. One of them happened right in front of me. I, I could see the guy got hit without the ball. I think LOA, yeah, should have been But LOA on the other side. Should have been binned for that. He, Burton definitely, probably... he definitely changes his line, but the at the end of the day, it just was not our day, bro. Yeah. That, and Manly kick won. Kick uh, intercept, not scoring. Oh, the charge. Oh, how the hell did the charge? charge what charge, what are the odds when I saw that charge? I thought we won the game, Walla. Uh, brother, Walla, I was ready. I was up. Everybody's up on our feet celebrating and we're watching the ball bounce yeah, away I'm from us, cars. And I'm like, I could have bounced anywhere and it bounces to the bloody only guy in remote position that collect that ball. Pain, bro. It hurts. Uh, that's when I knew when I saw that charge, I'm like, it's not our day, bro. Did we're going to lose this. the fans as he went in for that charge down? That broke my heart. Honestly. Yeah, that's it, man. Uh, well, uh, that was the atmosphere was beautiful, bro. Well, Honestly, what the game. game was was beautiful. The atmosphere was beautiful. It was painful in the end, but bro, uh, like I said before, man, be be appreciative of where we are as Bulldogs fans because we were in the mud last year. And next year, my standards is top four. Yeah, no, no. Because that's the standards they've set for me, lad. No, no top eight. Top eight. I'm um, going top I'm, eight, bro. Listen, if you miss I out on top four from his injuries, I get it. But I don't want top four and I want hunger top four. I want like, yeah, yeah, let's. Like, the, that's what I, I want, want jobs not finished aura. Jobs not finished, I want aura. jobs not finished aura from this team, bro. Flaxy, can we get you back in? How about yeah, we just get yeah, some? We, get, we need you, some brother. pen. We need some pen of chime in. Don't leave, bro. Sure. Hang out. We need to have a. We need to have a nice, nice discussion downstairs. Um, Flexi, Penrith. Let's talk about Penrith. Because, what a performance! Yeah, the, the biggest reason why I want you back on, right, is because of Hainsy. Um, Hainsy, listen, Hainsy. Cleary. Yalla, Hainsy. You want us to go to Bali, huh? I seen that little cheeky comment on the internet. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw, bro. Now, we... now listen, Chuck Pan, the drum, I really love and appreciate the, the passion. But I'm going to let my boy Flexi cook you because you went to Penrith Stadium, you called it the riff, you called it all this thing, ah, and then you just got cooked, bro. I didn't even want to watch the game because it was that boring, to be honest with you. Mate. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, that first half, what did you score? Was it 24 something? 24 nil at half. Half time. That was Cleary, not... Luai, well, everyone. They went to second gear after that. Because after right? that, they were like, listen, let's just hang out. Cleary got hooked early because, like, why? You know, just let the guy kick back. Maybe I had to message Mary Fowler, whatever it was. Listen, you just, when you're that easy, when it's that easy for you, and Jerome Luai, To'o, Liora, the aura in that team is unbelievable. I'm supporting Penrith Panthers all the way. Flax, if you got a jersey for me, I'll probably rep it um, in just the game. one right there, rep. brother. One right there. Do <laughs> not. Why? Do it. Why? <laughs> hey, they're basically... <laughs> one jersey. Is basically the nah, same. One I never jersey. Wear, I would never that's wear another it, jersey it. in my life. Bro. Well, I was going to nick you. I would, I, would leave, I would leave league like nah, I would never wear another <laughs> jersey, bro. That was literally a joke. Calm down, guys. If you know me, I'm a Liverpool supporter. I would never wear anything else. Bulldogs in Liverpool. That's about it, right? Um, <coughs> even if Cleary signed the jersey for me, I wouldn't wear it. Uh, Flaxy, yes. talk to me about that game and what you what you felt, bro. How, oh, does, look, how does it feel? You're confident? Well, it, was I told everyone. it was regular scheduled programming, right? Yeah. Did anybody expect anything Back else? regular Mate, schedule. Look, right. Except you. Yeah. Look, Did finals I, week Bruce one. Is gonna win, bro, bro um, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta get the content chiming a little bit sometimes. Can I, everyone knew Penrith's gonna win, bro. <laughs> I wanna well, get abused in comments sometimes. Well, that's what I say. Everyone's confident until the game and then they show their real colours. And that that's pretty much what Hainsey and all that were doing. I, I got to speak to him before the game, but, you know, you could just... You could tell, you could tell that, you know, he, he, he knew that they weren't going to come out there, the, uh, Rest clear the winner. <laughs> Rest clear. Bro, that is my favourite Hainsey quote. I will, like, Rest I, Cleary. 
Rest clear. Yeah. I'm just gonna have that on my brother, wall. Cleary rested his nuts on their, <laughs> on their, te- and their head, bro. <laughs> you know right, what? With I, that I, kick that hit the that hit the bar, bro. He meant that. Uh, I I have a um 2024 uh, Panthers signed jersey by the top 30 players. I'm gonna get that framed, and then I'm gonna have a plaque and on the bottom. It's gonna have Rest Cleary. And, that, and it's just going to have Hainsy 2024. Yeah. If we win the grand final, that's what I'm going to do. Hainsy, Hainsy, Hainsy. Hainsy, man. He, I love the man. He, he's so, look, he, there was a, a, a Ashley Klein's a man. You know, he got that bay going, you know, the Roosters. No, no, listen, man, he was pretty Let's be real here. No, he, well, he, at, he, at the game, no, no, I was right next no, to no, him, no. to be fair. He was, Ashley Klein was pretty. Oh, Ashley Klein, yeah, he was shocked. Ashley Klein was pretty. Mm. I'll I'm give. Gonna be, I'm, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be honest, Ben. That pass was not forward. That what was pass wasn't tr- forward? There was a trip that on knock the on, That knock on wasn't a knock on. Which knock on? It, it's the Tupo one where he grabs it and it kick goes backwards. It, it, it's about five meters from the line. Yeah. Oh, wait, that when, was he, when he dropped the kick. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was that, that was, was like the Tracy one at um look, at Belmore. Yeah. Dropping I'll, it that way is not a knock on. Look, I'll, 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 Ashley Klein is the only ref that does that. You know. Yeah. I'll give Roosters their their pay. Look, they did not, they did not, they weren't infringements. You know, Ashley Klein missed two, three very big calls for the Roosters. These calls wouldn't have affected the game. I not agree. at all. Not but, at all. But here's the thing: if there's any team that thrives on momentum the most, it's them. I and agree. If they score three straight, it's like they get superpowers, bro. I I agree. And I experienced that. this when we were up twenty six nil. Yeah. And they had 12, 11 players. I agree with that. But again, you've got to be honest. in that's Because that happened in the second half. Penrith weren't in. Penrith were relaxing. We, everyone, because everyone, I was getting messages. People were going, why, why you guys aren't going to beat Melbourne? Because, you know, Melbourne would have put 50. We didn't need to put 50. We don't need to risk Melbourne, players. Melbourne would not have put 50, by the way. They would yeah. not. Because, like... All year, they, they've done the exact same thing. Like, they've have scraped, like, so many wins, especially the first half of the year. Like, the second half of the year, they've been playing well. I get it. But the first half of the year, bro, they were scraping by every week, last minute, last 10 minutes, last five minutes tries. You know what I mean? But they've done enough to win. Yeah. Henry, literally, they rested clearly. They, they took their foot off the gas. You know what I mean? Because they didn't... I thought they would have gone for a bit more because it's their last game there for a few years. But no, they didn't need to. We didn't. But they still pumped them. It was that like your first, your performance, in my opinion, especially in the first half, was more dominant than the Melbourne one. Like uh, it was not even, they, they were not even remotely close to beating you. No. So it looked like men against boys in the first half. It, to the point where you would have put your foot off the gas. Yeah. And you, you don't, you don't. Risk, especially with Panthers, you know, because we do, we have a few players with niggling injuries, you know, they, they're not 100%, but, you know, you don't risk that, you know, that's why Cleary was hooked later in the game, and that's why, you know, even if you watch the game, he wasn't, they will go on Luai's side most of the time, because they weren't, they were trying to get him in the least amount of action as he could, while still making an impact, and... You know, I just got to give a shout out to two players, Luke Garner, and you boys are going to hate me here, but Paul Alamotti, his defense. No, he's been good. mad. No, nah, it was good, but, bro. Well, uh, but you're, I miss, don't have but you're missing on him. the most important one, Isaiah Yo. Isaiah Yo. Isaiah Yo was your best player next to Cleary yes, uh, on, uh, on, on Friday. On Friday, yeah. Friday, yeah. But he was, he literally, when you guys had a bad set, he was the one that saved it. He got, was the guy, he was the guy getting you rolling forward. Yeah. He was. Unbelievable, man. I could not put a single bad, it's funny say how long a bad word. It's crazy how long he's been playing. Well, like, he's been playing he's, for he's, so he's long. He's the guys. oldest on... I feel, like he, had, I feel I like he just like, revived his career. Yeah. Uh, I don't know when. But it just I, happened. I, I, I can tell you exactly when. When it, it became a lock. That, but it was after Origin because everyone was shitting on him for being a passing... What do you mean? This, yeah. this Origin? Yeah, this Origin. No, 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 this I'm, talking origin. About, I'm talking about like before. We all remember Isaiah. It was just like, oh, yeah. yeah. And he moved to lock, like Freddie's saying, and he just became this... This absolute perfect key for Penrith to go and win everything. Absolutely, because he helped. He helps clearly. Like he a moved to lock in twenty, yeah, twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Early then, yeah. Th- yeah, like that's that's f- r- literally the time that you guys became a force. Yeah. He never got a sniff of Origin before that, did he? No. But every, you know, he's changed his game ever since the last game of Origin. Everyone criticized him for being the playmaking lock. You know, everyone criticized him, and that's how Penrith were found out, and that's how yeah. in Origin. That's true, but I remember that game three. Ever since then, he's Me been either. a running. Yeah, but look how much better he's been but because what's a lock's job? 
Run first, pass second. Yeah, but yeah. listen, game three, I think it was a game three when I was yelling. I was like, take yo off. And then out of nowhere, he just starts making these tackle busts and line breaks and like making meters. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay. My bad. <laughs> Bro, sometimes Isaiah Yo <laughs> Sorry, thinks... Sorry, I'm mad. <laughs> Isaiah, sometimes I, yo, Isaiah Yo forgets that he's like six foot three, six foot four. Yeah, he's a, a hun- big boy, bro. You know what I mean? A hundred probably plus kilos. You know what I mean? Sometimes he forgets that he's a big boy, man. He's like Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum forgets that he's six foot nine sometimes. He plays like a All right, and he plays like guard. He plays like Muggsy Bones, like bro. A... <laughs> All right. Yeah, but he just, Isaiah Yo, sometimes Isaiah Yo forgets he's six foot four, bro. You and know what I mean? he remembers and everyone's... Same everyone's kick out does sometimes too, bro. The occasion that he, he thinks he's like, he's like Benji Marshall, bro. You know what I <laughs> mean? Like once a game. But yeah, just, Isaiah, Isaiah Yo, when he runs like a lock is supposed to... It makes his passing game so much better. When Absolutely. you in the basketball, best analogy, bro. When you're a shooter, they have to come to you. That means that driving to the rim, so much easier. You know yeah, I mean? Of course. Yeah. But uh, my overall thoughts on the game is like, I, I'm. This is what we've been missing. Everyone's been saying this cracks in Penrith. There's all this, and you just needed a full, like a sort of full team together. Yeah, this is the at home just to get it, the rhythm back a little bit. It was the best team we had put up in six weeks. And look at the, the results. And look at the results, you know. Um, I, I said that, you know, Melbourne and Canberra, they were games we could have won had we not had the injuries. But, yeah, th- these cracks, you will, not see, you will not see them. Or if you will, you'll see very minimal compared to what you've seen this season. Uh, thought, especially if we stay healthy. After that game, like, I tipped, I tipped Penrith to win the grand final this year. But after that game, like, obviously, you get a bit if you're watching the, them being lackluster a little bit in the past couple of weeks. But after that game, bro. Well, it's just that I said it. They're just gonna remind everyone. Uh, In our predictions last week, I said they're just gonna rem- shake it up a little bit. You nearly got the pen. You nearly got it right, but if you said Cleary's playing, he said thirty to twelve. It was did thirty I? to ten. Was, did I? I said twenty-eight hey. sixteen. Dude, I said forty to eight. And I don't know. Like I was. <laughs> it getting, was looking like that. It was looking, looking like that. Because, bro, I like people forget. Like, dude, Cleary did not have. Like you were saying, they're gonna rest him game one. Bro, it was all lies. Cleary did not have to. Cleary could have played th- two weeks ago. I bro. already know that as well. I, I bro, then why thing. play him? Yeah. They rest him, bro. Yeah. They did the Kawhi Leonard, but it actually worked. Wait until finals and uh, wait until playoffs and yeah, play. the play. No, no, no. Re- they're this. neurons because then he's, he ends up getting injured in the fight in the playoffs as well, bro. All right, but Nathan, ha, ha, ha. Nathan, it's all an act, bro. He's not actually injury prone. <laughs> the, the hamstring injuries. They're just precautionary eight yeah, weeks, bro. I'm telling you, man. When he waits eight six, weeks. seven, eight weeks, doesn't actually have to. I, I tell it's you, just what's the point? Because I think I think you just say, would you rather win minor premiership or win a win a premiership? You want, who, who was it that said it uh, this week? Um, Matty John said it. Matty John said that Nathan Cleary is already in the conversations of, of those. Yeah, hundred percent. Those greats, and, and right. So now, listen. If he wins a fourth, cuz I think no one chats to him anymore. No, Wallah, to no, win four Wallah, in a row. Four in a row. Bounce. To be in five premierships, win four out of five. Nobody can talk to anyone. And guess this. what? How old he is, bro? He's still got seven, six, seven years after that. How old that. is he? He's 20. Like he 20, can retire. He's 27 years old. Like he bro. can retire. And no one can. 20. Yeah. He's not even in his prime. The only, the only thing people give him shit about is origin. And he's been a part of three winning origins. I don't sets. know why they give him shit. I understand origin. it. Well, no, no, I don't I, I, understand and it. Listen, and I don't think he's been in origin, but there's just that Andrew Johns in origin. Shit that, yeah. that, there's that Andrew Johns shit that he, people, Moses did it in game one or game two, whatever it was. It's just Rather, different level, bro. Anyway. Yeah, every, everyone's going to get, uh, look, everybody's saying it, origin, origin, when he's won three. Wait, while I wait till next year. Wait yeah. till, wait, <laughs> that, yet, that's what I'm waiting for. How, and, much, how many times, I, bro, when I say this shit, I'm right a lot of time. I was right about Matt Burton. I was right about Serrata. I'm right about Nathan Cleary cars. He only sucked because his forwards never put him in a position good. to succeed. I get it. Well, I watch next year, cuz. Yeah. No, watch but I'm just saying he's I... gonna nick whatever the hell, whatever Moses did this year. He's gonna nick Albeck, bro. It's he's gonna... not even gonna look. He's gonna do something that no one's ever done, bro. It's gonna be crazy. To this watch bloke has this guy has future go. And he has ridden. a good coach on. He has a good coach now, bro. He doesn't have a guy putting Damien Cook at center. Yeah. As well, he's. I know. <laughs> Madge just gonna bring the best out of this bloke, bro. Like he brought the best out of Luke Kiry. Arguably, you know what? I reckon Trey Robbo probably nah, brought Robert the best did, out of him. When he won, literally playing six and seven at the same time while Cooper Conk was, Cooper on Conk the was having a 20 metres behind play <laughs> and they give him all the credit, bro. <laughs> you have to cut that out. <laughs> what do you mean? That's the intro, bro. Hey, <laughs> Cronk, bro. All, all the last three weeks, there's been this one guy that says Cronk's the goat. Well, if it was in front of me, I would have thrown. I would have thrown a brick at his head, bro. You know what? It reminded me. I would have thrown me... a tape, the tape. I got a tape measure in my drawer. I would have chucked at him. Like my dad <laughs> chucked a tape measure at me. We, we, 
we had this conversation I a few months back. Live from that. <laughs> <laughs> we had this conversation a few mu- months back, and this conversation's kind of reminded me. It was when there was a comparison between Nathan Cleary and Cooper Cronk. And I said, at this current point in time, Nathan Cleary has a higher trajectory than Cronk did at his age. No, 100%. No, no, no. Bro, Nathan Cleary now is He's better than better. Cronk's ever been, ever. That's crazy. Kronk, Kronk, no, no, it's not crazy. That's insane. Kronk never, no, 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 one. You, or arguably two times, you can say, if you want to say Dylan Edwards once. But I'll tell you one thing. Bro. No, no, but who let him go? Cooper, Cooper Cronk would never do what Nathan Cleary did last year in the, in the, in the grand final. Cooper Cronk's never been on a sh- team. That's true. He's never been on an average team. He's never been on a good team. He's never been on a great team. He's, been He's only been on the two greatest teams ever assembled. Melbourne and 2018, 2019 over the Cap Roosters. <laughs> over the Sambrero. Anyway, the team, no, no, no. The team was so good, he literally did nothing the whole game. He just, he was a coach on the field and they won with 12 players. You know what? They fact. beat the team that he left. Uh, they beat the team that he left and he didn't even, he didn't even play. He was, uh, he was as, he, Wayne Bennett could have been on the field and it would have been, it probably would have, the Bruce probably would have been better. Because that's what, that was his impact, talking. <laughs> While well, I'm talking, coaching, bro. Yeah, Luke, pass One the ball, t- Luke. He, brother, he Teddy, made, get in there. He made, he made the same. I watched the game. I was in the stadium. He made one more tackle than me and the same amount of runs as I did. <laughs> Zero <laughs> and one more tackle than me because he made one. You would have got to the shit. One of the, if the, quicker if, than him. If there was a streaker in that game, all right, the Seki would have had more tackles <laughs> than the bloody than Cooper Cronk, bro. And I would never. I, I'm not saying Cooper Cronk's not a not an amazing player, but for no, me, I just pictured that. I <laughs> wish. I wish. No, no. Listen, man. At the end of the day, I'm not. It's not that I hate Cooper Cronk. It's just it, it pisses me off that they put him so high. Even though he's probably three or if, if they don't, if they put him at fifth, he's still top ten. He's so it's not even that far. Like in my opinion, out of, out of all the four play, out of the four players that were cracked at Melbourne, he's the he's ranked fourth for me. Is Cooper Cronk just a shiny Matt Orford or? No, no, he's <laughs> <laughs> puts Matt Orford. He makes Matt. He makes, I used to love Matt Orford. He bro. makes Matt Orford look like a reserve grade player, bro. All right, Listen, but Nate, but in my opinion, man, I don't think Cronk can be compared to guys like John Sturston. I can't. I, no, he no, won I, a I lot. Agree. He won a lot, but many other players would have won in the same position. Uh, I, yeah. Listen, I love Cooper Cronk. I think he's great, but I don't think he touches Thurston. I think Kiri has already surpassed him. For me to hear yeah, it the I first agree. time is crazy. But I fully, fully He's a better agree. player than Cooper um, Conk, Melbourne. Listen, let's get into Melbourne Storms and let's just keep going with this episode because yeah, we're just going to keep arguing. Are we, are we we're at, arguing for... We all we agree, at, yeah? Are we at 50 minutes? I don't know. I, I think I'm just arguing with that one guy that rage baits me. And everybody says he's rage baiting me, but I love arguing, so I'll never Listen, stop. Listen, Melbourne beat the Sharks. Let's quickly touch on this. Nick Hines, bro. Did he do anything wrong? Is he, do you want to blame him? Or what, what no, 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 no. What do you want to do Did you watch the game? A little bit, yeah. Bro, he kicked one. He missed touch by ten meters. I've never seen it in my life. Never <laughs> in my life he missed touch by ten. Me- they were playing good. Oh yeah, yeah they, they were playing sticker. good. I've seen that. I've seen that. They, but they like they were defending so well, Sharks. You know how they, that scoreline had on it doesn't tell them. It doesn't tell anybody how well Sharks actually played. <laughs> all right, the fact that it was like a close, sort of close game at halftime was crazy. The amount of ball Melbourne had, but it all. For me, because Nico Hines' head dropped. I love Nico. You know how much I love Nico. He's not a seven. He's not a seven. He can't kick for crap. He can't. I'm telling you, this was one of the. This might be the worst kicking performance I've seen in a finals game from a seven ever. Really? That, only, that bad? He missed touch by 10 meters yeah, I and he got in his own head. He got a penalty. He stood there for three, four seconds thinking about kicking it. And then he went for the tap because he faked to kick it and he realized I missed touch last time. I'm going to run it. It's so sad, bro. Wallah. Dude, he just uh, the he's... pressure is not good for Nico Hines, bro. Let the guy play in a position where he's not going to be the big man. And the problem is now, if it's given, they bought him as a, as a seven. They want to play him as a seven, or they want to play him as a leader of the team. He's going to be the head of, face of the team. I just never Pull could. Back. I could never ever see him. Wallah, I could never ever see him as that dominant leader. I could never see him as the Cleary. I could never see him as the Cooper Cronk, whatever you were, you were saying. I could never see him as the actual guy that's there. Like, I can never see him as Matt Burden. 
Because like, all of those people played halves when they were growing up. Nico did not. And it's not that. You Full don't have a back. game in you in a finals game. It's very important. Well, Dude, I'm going to pump he, in Manly uh, against Manly yesterday. A lot of the game, a lot of the time, Burton will just kick us out of trouble. In previous games, Burton kicks you out of trouble. Now, when you get a penalty, you want the penalty to be taken into touch. Comes out of touch. A lot of it is, goes to, a lot of it is from confidence. And, bro, well, I'll be honest with you. For me, the Sharks are just not it, bro. I don't see them going far, Wallah. Like, I actually don't. I don't see them going past. I feel like we deserve that fourth spot more than they did. Yeah, 100%. Right? I, that's what I feel, and I might be biased, but I like to speak from a neutral point of view. I don't see the Sharks better than us. I really, well, I don't. They have a better pack, but they're just, I don't know, bro. For me, it just, I don't know. Uh, But here's the thing, man, and I'll tell you one thing. I, I, I do think they did well, and I, I, I don't, I'm not blaming the loss on Nico Hines, but I'm saying one thing. When Nico was kicking, they looked like shit. But when Trindle, Trindle kicked, bro, the, the, two, the two, three best kicks of the game Trindle. were from Braden Trindle. You know what I mean? But, but surely if it's given, knows that, bro. Like, you can't you, keep coaching I don't team. understand. It's like, it's like there's, uh, there's people higher up saying, we're paying Nico big money, he's seven. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It, was, it doesn't look dude, like anything else. The, the simplest solution to everybody's problems is you just put Will Kennedy. So Will Kennedy's got to be the one that misses out or you, or you put him on the wing. And then you put Nico at fullback because he's played, he's played well there. He's won a comp there, and and he does, and his fullback suits his game more. Of course it does. And you put the the halves combo that, in my opinion, was was just flowing better. I'm not saying Atkinson is better than Hines, but what's best for the team? Kennedy has not been, at, he's been half of what he was last season. Last season he was mad. This season he has not been himself. He's run made it. Every statistic he's got has dropped. He's down. That's right, bro. And it's not a little drop. It's a significant drop. And I'm not saying Kennedy's bad, but in order to get what's best out of the team, you've got to put the most impactful players on. I think Hines would be more impactful at fullback. And listen, if Hines And Hackinson and Trindle, it's he, like they if, look <clears throat> like they've played together the last five years, man. And if it comes to desperation time, let's say a half goes down, you put Nico back in the halves, you get me? But play him at fullback the whole time. If he has to kick a ball once or twice, he can kick a ball once or twice. We see Latrell Mitchell do sometimes, bro, for, for Rabbitohs. I know yeah. Latrell Mitchell's a good that, kicker. That, that's, that's literally but we why Re they were winning their no, games. But we see Reese Walsh sometimes yeah. kicking, though. But like, it's fine. You can still have him there kicking here and there, but... To put the pressure on him is no good. Uh, but yeah, but Shar uh, Storm were amazing, by the yeah, way. They like, the, like the they Sharks, good. it's not even the Sharks' fault that they got pumped in that second half. The Storm were just too good. Everything they were doing was working. Yeah, Willie but... was nicking everyone. Jerome Hughes was nicking everyone. Harry Grant. Patrick, yeah. Harry. Yeah, he... Harry. I remember right. someone saying Jerome Hughes. Uh, I remember saying someone saying Munster and Harry Grant are overrated. Yeah. And they're only good because they play for Melbourne. Yeah. Hey, well, like, you got to hey, be sick of them. Yeah, Munster was looking like Munster. Yeah, bro. Like, like, on, that, on that game, bro. He was bro. running amok. That was a mad game, bro. Scored and sh minute. shout out to the Storm, bro. I was wrong about you. You're proving me wrong. But I tipped you this week. And. They're going to rest now, them and Penrith. Yeah, they're going to chill out it's for a week. It's going to be them and Penrith in the finals. And, uh, bro, I'm just saying, if Manly win, I'm looking at Manly, bro, and I'm saying, you beat them once, bro, you do it again. But it's they have to, get, they has to, they have to get things right on the day. Yeah, it's going to be Bellamy's the best, one of the best, at getting their, his team ready and right on that day. It's true, bro. But um, there was one game that Cowboys. I, I just, it pains me to be wrong about this one because I said if there was any chance of there being an upset, it's this one. It's this one, and far out did they... Dang, did, Gagoy, sold. Did, did Newcastle play... They played so much wow. better than the Cowboys. Wow. Like, Shout out to Dan, first of all. He put out, He tagged us in a Bulldogs tee. He put our logo and he put a tee, and he's like, sorry, boys, I had to get it done. I respect that, Dan. I love you. Now, listen, we're probably going to go to Bali together, right? Not yeah. me, our teams. And um, we're just going to feel the agony and pain of losing in the first round of finals. Wallah. Um, um, but listen, big props to Newcastle. Wallah. Big I have never ever Newcastle. seen them play that good in a long, long, long time. Like, I told you, man, toughness, toughness right. in finals is a different base. And there's no doubt about it. One bit, everybody except Deedon on that Cowboys team could not match the toughness of the Newcastle Knights. They were just too tough. They were winning they lost that the, battle they in, lost the middle. in the middle. Hogger man. was playing well. Crossland was playing. They were all playing well. They were playing like a team. And you know who was leading the team? A guy that I've been so critical of, especially two, three years ago. We both were. All right, about these are the games that he steps up. He needs to step up and he goes missing. Brother, this guy, I, will step I, I, I couldn't, like, there were so many highlights. I can't even, I can't even recollect them all. Yeah, the that, guy was that good. This was his second 
In my opinion, his second best game in his career next to that 2022 game three. But that game, he, he was he stepping He literally could not, they could not tackle him. He was like, if they did tackle him, they had to work so hard to tackle him, bro. I really am in Valeria Haram, the guy was getting bullied. <laughs> bullied left, right and center. All right, because Greg Marju was taking first hit up of like four kickoffs, bro. <laughs> What like <laughs> they're such a weird team. If they had Bradman Best, this game is not oh, even. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bradman uh, Best was a big miss for and them. Dylan bro. Lucas is mad. But still, man, Brad like Bradman Best plays. He's Bradman Best. Like origin. They're gonna get nicked. Like unbelievable center. The Cowboys escaped by the skin of their teeth. All right. So are they on your fraud watch or no no, they're not on my fraud watch. They're a good team. There's no there's no more fraud watch, bro. Alright, there's no more fraud watch. All right, I all think the, them and the sharks all, are, bro. All the, and who are they and who they're versing them. But my money, it's actually not on the Cowboys. Alright. You think the Sharks will win? I think well, the Sharks will win. We'll speak about that when we get But we'll get there. But the Cowboys played really well, but no, not really well. They played alright, but then when the game got to the thick of it, they just got the job done. Alright, but they shouldn't have. They should have lost that game. Golden opportunity. Go on your outside. Guy next to the I guy on the believe, outside. I can't believe it. Go on your inside. I can't believe and, that pass went to Gamble. And the, no, no, no. The pass, I would have passed the gamble because I'm like, Me too, head. on the left, yeah? Yeah, the, yeah. The, the, under the sticks. He Literally. goes under the sticks and then he starts gobbing off at everybody and then it probably gets in their heads because they don't like toughness. All right. The, the cows don't, they're especially just, that game, bro. They were yeah, not, they, they were, were, they not, were yeah. running away from the challenge, lad. But right. at the end of the day, bro. He went to gay guy. Pass could have been a bit better, but I'm I'm banking on. I'm putting my house on gay guy catching that, and he dropped and he drop nuts it. It's 100%. a drop nuts. And hold on, bro. Their heads went down from that. Was that that was, that was the, the moment, point? Because three four minutes later they concede, and oh my god, was that try? Soft, I think that yeah. try. Why? So I from the angles that they showed us, the guy's hand touches it. That so he bats oh, it yeah, back. Yeah, 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 it bounces. Yeah. It bounces. Kara? And it and Cotter touches it. Was it. the Cotter one? He touched his hand. He touched his hand, but they said it came off, off of his knee. But then, but all the angles they showed us, it looks like they they are, they, they overturned it, bro. Yeah, that's insane, bro. I don't understand. They how said you no can, try. If they said try, it's a try. If they said no try, it's a no try. It's like they're looking at it for ten minutes, bro. Brother, Something's if you're fishy. looking at it for ten minutes, that means you really want. It that to be means a try. that means you're looking for like there's something sus there, and the refereeing was a bit sus. And why? I'm pretty sure that's the game Todd Smith did. Why is Adam G at home? Why is Adam G at home? Why? Everyone said the same. His thing, name right? is G. That means he's a gangster. Yeah. That means he's a mad ref. He did the he ref better than any of these refs have in the last ten years in that one grand final. No no referee you guys have had for ten years, Graham Annesley, could have refed a game better than that. And he's sitting at home and rang a ref. Todd Smith is refereeing this game. And it was so suspect. Well, I feel like the Knights got a bit hard done by. And uh, I think they should have won, bro. And I think they deserve to win away from home as well. But that try, I don't understand how you can overrule it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, and I, then the sin bin was just a crush out. Andrew yeah. Bynum, fought, like fourth quarter against the Mavericks in game four in 2011. Go look it up. Swinging arm, close lines of <laughs> little JJ Barea. Was, 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 was that Thompson that did it? Leo Thompson. Yeah, he yeah. just lost his mind. Leo Thompson crash out, yeah. bro. Listen, and I don't blame him because straight out, your head loss goes, I get yeah, it. And then, and then they score again. And you know what? There's no player on that Cowboys team deserves to try more Deedon? than Tom Deedon, bro. That guy, listen, man, me, the biggest Matt Burden fan ever in history, in the history of the world. No one's a bigger Matt Burden fan than me. I literally dubbed him the, my pookie bear. <laughs> but Tom Deedon should win six of the year. You reckon? That's my guy, bro. <laughs> the, t our, the engine of my team cards. And you're putting like, people, And I'm putting Deedon over Because Deedon is a good Because that guy, good, good that, without Tom Deedon... This team would not be it. This team would be oh, out of the eight. Finish. This team would be bottom four without Tom Deenan. Easily. Imagine he, Chad Townsend and like, I, I say we'd be top bottom four without Tom Deenan. Like They will probably be... Matt Burden, yeah. They, they, so I'd say we'd be bottom four without Matt Burden. I think I agree. And I think this team would be... I think this Cowboys team would genuinely be bottom four without Tom Deenan. I fully agree, bro. He's the, he's the thing that... He's the, the gear that makes everything... He's the cog in the wheel that makes everything work, bro. He's the engine of them, bro. He's the engine. He leads them, he leads an them engine, to the front. Because he's a 2JZ and, and Matt Burden is a RB26 cars. And they're just next to each other. So right. doing the whole and way. You know, and Lukey has been the twin turbo. <laughs> Listen... um. Shout out to Ponga, shout out to the Newcastle fans. Um, wow, what a game card. Great fans, man. Great passion. Wallah, you respect you deserve all the all the credits. Dude, shout out to their coach as well, turned it around. Can I just say one thing? The yeah. last two games are better than the first two. 
The yeah, elimination games were so, were much, so better. much better. Well, like, they were they were two of the best finals games I've watched in a, in a long time. In a long time, that was probably the two best first round like elimination finals I've no, watched in years. In a long, long time, bro. Now listen, we got to speak about the next game before we wrap things up. Roosters versus Manly is the first game. I don't know which order they're going to be in, but let's speak about the Roosters Manly. Quick predictions. What do you think happens? Who wins? Yada yada. I'm going Manly, and I'm probably going to say th- I'm going to go Manly thirteen plus, man. Yep. Tommy was inspiring last like last night, dude. I'm so, I'm literally inspired by the guy. The guy was broken. Well, yeah. I've never seen a guy more broken than him. And I think that's why they're gonna lose, bro. No, no, but he's gonna get an extra week, cause I think I think they're gonna. Cause if they can beat us with a broken Tommy, the way they they'll play better against men against Roosters and beat them. You think and Tommy will get Ro- better after a you week? You think Roosters with the pack they'll play better against them? They got a, they got as good maybe like they've got as good as a pack bro. I that, think so. They've got two former Roosters players as well. They're gonna be g'd up in that I, pack. I, I think Nathan Brown, Matt Lodge, Taniela Paseca. Like that's a it's, it's a good I, pack. I'm not, I'm not saying I don't know where Sipley is. I I'm think, not saying it's a good pack, but if the Bulldogs I don't know. contain them, right? We contain that pack. We kept them a bit quiet, right? Compared to when we reversed them last time. Yeah. I don't know what the Roosters are gonna do. If the Roosters listen, if the Roosters lose their heads and concede a lot of points, it's it's done. I think it's wraps, but. If the Roosters can stay focused, and this is a big game, like I think the Roosters can get it done, bro. I might be wrong, but it won't surprise me if Manly win at all. It's a game well, that I'm can a, go anyway. Can I, can I just say one thing? All right, we could not contain Alokawatu. He was unbelievable, bro. Right, that was one of the but best. But there's back, Gus, that, Angus Crichton, Spencer Lindy. No, no, bro. Right, Jared. Gonna, he's is Jared gonna, back? Jared's yeah, playing? Jared's back. Uh, he's uh, Lindsay Collins. At, at, he's going to be running at two little spud back, little halves, bro. That's true. They bro. are not going to stop him. Okay, well, what are you saying? What's your prediction? Score prediction? I'm going, I'm going to go Manly 1 to 12. Okay, I'm going to go Roosters 1 to 12. Let's get to the Cowboys and Sharks game. What do you think happens, bro? I'm probably, I'm actually, you know what, man? Sharks are playing at home. Oh, not at home, but Combank. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, it's tough. It's a tough game, bro. It's a tough one, bro. This is a good game. I don't, is Ramey in back? I don't know. Is Ramey in back? What was he out? Yeah, we've got to start recording these on Tuesday, bro. I've got to see the team list. Um, <laughs> it, won't be, it won't be good. <laughs> well, I'm going to go. Uh, look, I think still, I think, I honestly think Sharks 13 plus. Wow, that's crazy. And I think they did 13 plus them early in the year too. Yeah, they, and did. I just, they pumped them. Dude, they were, play, they were actually playing well, the Sharks. I think, I think the Sharks win this, and I don't know why, even though I don't believe this. But I'm going to go out there and say it. I think Nico Hines makes a difference with a field goal. I don't know why. It's like literally the most thing that would no, happen. I think he's going to have a good game. But I think he's going to have a good game. He'll bounce back and he'll beat the, um, the Cowboys. And, and then I think the Sharks get eliminated next round anyway. Yeah, 100%. Regardless of the result. Penrith, I don't bro. think they're going to have beat any of those teams. They're going to be versus Penrith, bro. Anything you want to speak about, Freddie, before we wrap up? It was um, a great episode. We had a lawyer on. We spoke yeah, about bro, the Bulldogs. It was a, it was a crazy episode, we had a good episode, I know it's a long one, but it was, it's us saying farewell to the Bulldogs. Boys, I'm, uh, to the Bulldogs players, I'm so proud of you, man. Well, like, I'm not, not one... Uh, not one ounce of me was mad. Just, I'm just sad that Even we lost. Anything that happened. It was such a fun season, man. I, I, you guys, I couldn't. I was smiling all the time, bro. You know what it's I mean? Because we were playing good football, man. I literally could not be more happy with how this season went. I think we're ahead of schedule, and I know the boys. They're very young. We're one of the youngest teams in the league. They're gonna rally back. All right, and I'm hoping that they do better next year. But boys, enjoy your off season. I know it sucks right now. I don't know because. I like to think that some of the dogs players watch my stuff and watch our uh, stuff. They definitely do. Max and King, I'm just Jack saying, bro, I, f- I absolutely mm-hmm. love you boys. You are the best, man. I'm so proud of them, bro. Even though they lost, bro, we made, Lich probably gave them everybody and every single fan in that arena got their money's worth because that was one of the best games I've ever seen live. And bro, that was just, that was game of the year for me because uh, I was literally, I couldn't watch, bro. I was literally covering my eyes. Unbelievable. Man. And I, I got to take my sister to a Bulldogs game this year, my little sister. Hey, you've met her, little little um, princess, little crazy princess. But she was smiling, bro. And for me, like, well, I remember as a kid going to my first game, bro. It's the best feeling in the world when your family can go and everyone enjoys. And you see everyone that's there at the game so happy. Man, thank you, bro. Thank you to all the players. Max King, Preston. I'm just going to give some shout-outs to the players that, you know, watch our stuff or players that we really, really love. Connor Tracy, you've been unbelievable. Karaz. I think we should do an episode on rank. We'll rank. We'll do like a short episode, a little segment on ranking the Bulldogs players in their seasons. But Karaz, Connor Tracy, Preston, um, even Fox this year, bro. Like I know people want to people want to talk and whatever, but even Fox this year has gave me so much happiness, bro. Um, Burden, Sexton, bro, Sexton, what a player you've been this year. Uh, Max King, uh, who else, bro? Sammy Hughes, 
Curtis Moran, and how can we forget Stephen Crichton, of course. My God, bro. Skelton Wilson. But how can we forget Josh Curran? Like, how can we ever forget that guy? Man. Wallah, I, I love him. I'm so grateful for this team. I'm very proud of you. Everything that you have done, I'm very, very proud of it. We'll see you next year. Enjoy your holidays, whether you've, booking it, whether you've booked a Europe trip or you're going to Bali. Be safe. Stay out of the headlines. But don't forget, bro, we're proud to be a Bulldogs every single day of, the, of, the, of our life. So thank you for that. I love you all. That's us. Peace. Shout out to everyone. Um, make sure you're still following the page. I know we're bandaging, but we'll be back. Love you all. Stay out of Up the Bulldogs. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm 900 followers away from 100K. That's it. Meow, meow. Give us a meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. meow. One more for the dogs. <laughs> meow, 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 <laughs> meow. Uh, I love you guys, man. 900 followers away from 100K on TikTok. So that's pretty... I'm not a big... Like, I don't really like care about my numbers and stuff too much. But 100K would be really nice. So uh, I, I can't thank you guys enough. I don't know if this is still recording, but... This is the, this is the, this is, nah, bro, the, <laughs> the bloopers, bro, like Toy Story. Oh.